Hello, my name is Dr. Samantha Carrasco and I'm an ABRSM examiner, trainer, moderator and presenter. And I'm also head of keyboard at Peter Simmons College in Winchester. I have lots of students there and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about practicing and how we practice and getting the best out of our practice session. One of the first hurdles we have to jump over is actually getting to our instrument. It's an easy thing to say, but sometimes when you've had a long day and you've got all of these work pressures going on, it's very, very difficult to find your own time to practice. And one of the things that's so important is actually creating this space, creating this, this creativity and this headspace that allows you to have open up all of your ideas and let the creative juices start to go. And a way to do this is actually just first of all, getting to the instrument, open up the locks on the case, get the music out and moving away from our workspace, particularly in the lockdown, we're so short of space and actually moving away and shutting the door on our, our responsibilities and, and things that we have to do for either work or school and just saying, I'm going to leave those alone and now this is some time for me. And really getting, if you get your music out, get it up on the stand. It's a great start to being ready to practice. Sometimes it might be worth just going for a walk and changing the venue. And by walking away from our work area and then coming back, we can really define our new creative space. Once you're sat at the instrument, then somehow we've got to really psych, psych ourselves up to say, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to have this time. This is just me and my instrument. I always see the piano. It's like coming back to an old friend. You've, you've spent so many decades playing the same instrument, the blacks and the whites. They are your friends. And you come back and you can experience all of these wonderful places. You can go to France with music. You can go and go to the great plains of America. All of these, the imagination that it creates when you're in that practice world. One of the great things that I like about practicing is it creates timeless moments. And I think in life there's very, very few of those. And particularly in this lockdown, when we're, we're pressured and we're seeing lots of extra things that we're having to deal with, finding something that cr creates a sort of timeless moment, that's very, very hard. So when we've got to our instrument, really make sure that you're, you're all ready to go and thinking to yourself as you're sat on the stool or stood up, ready to breathe in that first phrase, what am I learning? What, what am I learning today? What do I want to achieve from this? And the crucial thing is, if you're having lessons, that is, really say to yourself, what did I do in my last lesson? What did my teacher tell me to do with this piece? Because actually starting to remember some of the instructions that we've had is really crucial to having a good practice session. So that's my first top tip. Get yourself ready. Get yourself in that space. Really make sure that your creativity is ready, raring to go. Then say to yourself, OK, so the last time I played this, I played it like that. And my teacher's wanting me to play it like this. And then that really helps to encourage self-criticism and, and actually being aware of how we play. So that's my next top tip is really listening and thinking about what you want to achieve. So when you've done all of those things, one of the things that I absolutely love doing is a little exercise by Brahms, which helps to warm my fingers up and connects my mind to my fingers and my brain to my fingers and get that connectivity. And it settles down all of the things that's going through my head, all the wonderful imagination and I've got to do this and did I turn the oven on and have I finished my homework and have I sent that email, have I replied to that text? All of those things, they need to dissipate so you can calm your mind down and be in that comfortable creative space. So with all of those things, you're starting off, you're finding your own space, thinking about what you have done and what you want to do, and then start to warm up your fingers. So those are my top tips to start practicing.
and hopefully we'll be doing some more tips about practicing in the future but those are those are my ideas to get you started happy practicing and enjoy your timeless moment